Hi guys, it's 6.07 a.m. and I am running late getting out the house to um, basically start my day. Um, I'm about to get my killer's coat shoes on and uh, drop her off at the daycare. After I do that, I may or may not get some breakfast and then I'm going to um, head to work. So, I'll see you in a little bit. Hey YouTube, um, I'm coming down with a little bit of a cold so please excuse the sniffles coughing and maybe sneezing that you may hear in this video i'm on my way to work now i actually dropped Michaela off at school and stopped and got breakfast and before i go to work nine times out of ten i will probably be getting um a coffee let me tell you about this coffee when i found out i was pregnant i realized that i was extremely tired and that's how i knew i was pregnant because when i was pregnant with my daughter i was tired all the time but the difference between now and then is that then, you know, I could go home, get off of work, go home and go to sleep. Now I can't do that because I have to take care of my child. So I'm always tired, y'all. Like, it's I'm always tired. And I had brought it up to my doctor. They did an iron check. They did a thyroid check. Thyroid check came back completely normal. However, my iron is very low, close to being depleted. So I take an iron pill and also a prenatal and I'm about to start up on a B complex to hopefully get my energy levels up because my energy is so severely low that um, I was dependent on coffee. Like I would have it in the morning, I would have it in the afternoon, I would have it at night time, um, three to four times a day I would have a cup of coffee and I didn't realize it's not necessarily harm that you're doing to your child as far as growth and development but the baby gets what i get so by him by me drinking coffee all the time he um gets the coffee too and so my doctor maybe about three weeks ago had kind of convinced me to stop drinking coffee and told me to limit it to one eight ounce cup a day eight to sixteen ounce cup a day which is kind of hard but i mean i make it do what it do she um told me that I need to think of a mother who's on drugs and who's pregnant and the more she smokes or does whatever she does the baby is getting a little bit of that too so when the baby comes out they're looking for the drugs they're looking for that that's the only way to calm them down so she was like you really don't want your baby to be dependent on coffee or caffeine period because when he comes out he's gonna be looking for caffeine and you obviously can't give that to him so it made me slow down a little bit I want what's best for my child and if just being tired all day is going to make him not addicted to caffeine that's just what it is the iron pills do not help me um prenatals don't help me if anything it just keeps my levels from dropping it keeps me stabilized so it keeps my iron levels from dropping so I have three and a half more months to go and I will have a precious baby boy I'm so excited y'all like <clears throat> I really wasn't planning on having any more kids anytime soon I said maybe when my child was five and she is two going on three she'll be three in january and i said maybe when she was five i would have another one but you know things happen for a reason and um you know i was talking to my mom the other day and that i'm gonna get into that in a whole another video yeah, hopefully people can relate to me um when i talk about that but things happen for a reason and the more the merrier for me i think after this though i'm done I might get my tubes tied. I'm just not sure if they'll do it at my age. But if I explain to them um, what's going on with me and family history, I'm pretty sure they would tie my tubes or give me a hysterectomy or whatever. But like I said, that's another video. Another video, another topic, <clears throat> another day. So three and a half more months. I'm 22 weeks right now. I will be 23 weeks on Friday. And so that means that on Thanksgiving Day, I will make a video and um, give you a 22 week update. And then that means after that, I'll be 24 weeks and I'll be six months. How awesome is that? You know, 
this pregnancy went by so freaking fast but i already know that once i hit six months it's gonna feel like freaking slow motion so i'm gonna try to just enjoy it as i as much as i can i'm not too sure why um i'm getting these dirty looks from people in the cars <laughs> i have no idea people are staring me down maybe it's because i have a camera up to my face i don't know but whatever um yeah so thursday i'll be making a 22 week video give you guys updates symptoms how i've been feeling and stuff like that and um what was i gonna say oh so when i was pregnant with my daughter i gained about 80 pounds i could be um over exaggerating just a little bit but i want to say i gained about 80 pounds with my daughter and in about nine months nine to ten months i lost it all but the difference between now and then is that i gained a lot of weight prior to um getting pregnant so the amount that i weigh right now is the amount that i weighed when i was about eight months or so then and i'm not even six yet so i um ordered the perfect pregnancy workout video i also have the 10 minute prenatal pilates video and i have a fitness hour at work three hours per week to do fitness so i just feel like i need to take advantage of that take it easy i have used the videos um but not as much as i should and also my diet has a lot to do with the weight gain as well um i don't eat like a pig i don't eat all day junk food or whatever but i guess the things that i do choose to eat are not the most nutritious i don't know i don't think i eat bad but according to pregnancy diets and stuff like that i guess i'm not eating as healthy as i could be eating so for the next three and a half months i just plan on working out as hard as I can not working out hard to the point where I'm gonna hurt myself but actually committing to some sort of physical fitness and um, trying to eat better you know I'm not really concerned about weight gain though because at the end of the day I feel like every woman is different and you know you can't really base your pregnancy off of someone else's someone might gain 12 pounds someone may gain 20 someone may gain 50 someone may gain 80 i mean it really all depends on the person so you can't you can't base your pregnancy off of someone else's it took you nine months to put the weight on it can take you nine months to put take it off so weight gain is not really um important it's important but it's not important that important to me where i'm gonna kill myself to try to lose weight or maintain a certain weight at my um state so you need to quit <laughs> so someone just saw me um vlogging honking their horn and they work with me that's so funny so um yeah, like I was saying, everybody's different. And I'm just going to try to stay in some sort of physical physical fitness shape. <sighs> and um, get ready for March 20th. I'm having a C-section. And uh, like I said, I'm just ready for my baby to come. So I'm just rambling right now. So let me get off camera. I will talk to you guys when I get off of work. <laughs>